So, if you're used to playing Ocarina of Time and you start dabbling with Majora's Mask, you will probably come to the realization by yourself very quickly that the camera is really, really bad. And you are correct, the camera in Majora's Mask is absolutely awful. I don't want to go as far and call it a crime against humanity, but if a programmer programmed this today, uh, that programmer would lose their job and never work as a programmer ever again. Now fortunately, there are ways to make the camera work, and this is what we're going to go into in this video. I'm going to give you four tips to make the camera much more pleasant. And uh, the very first tip I want to get out of the way right now, and what I think is the most important, and based on where I am, if you've played at least one C, you probably know what it's going to be. So, let's say you just finished uh, checking Matter Maroma here in East Clock Town, and you're making your way to the chest all the way over there. So, let's do some uh, normal movement. You would go back here, and then you would do some sick movement, grab the ledge, and then... Whoa, what happened there? What, did you see what the camera did? Why did they just, like, do a 900 like this? Like, what happened? So, I don't exactly know why that happens, I have no idea, <laughs> to be honest. But, I can tell you how this cannot happen. So, essentially, if you start climbing the ledge while you were targeting and release target too quickly, the camera will do this. And it really only, it will happen most often when you do this movement, when you do the side hop thing to grab the ledge. But if you hold target for a little longer once you start climbing, and it's not really that much longer, like... Even before half the climbing animation is long enough, uh, the camera will not do a 720 on you and go all crazy. So, to know if you did it successfully, when you target, you see... Uh, black lines at the bottom and the top of the screen and During the climbing animation those black lines will stay there the whole time The whole long of the animation even if you're not holding target. So if you do that uh, Then the camera will not go all crazy on you But if you don't and you release target too quickly well, I didn't do it there but, And you release target too quickly then the camera will do this and go all crazy, and you might f even fall off here. I've already done this before. So, essentially you just hold target for a little longer. And there you go, you can move normally. So, that's probably the most egregious thing out of the way. Now the next one I want to talk about is how the camera behaves and how your controls behave when you, when you target. So... Let's say I just got out of Stockpot in. let's say I just checked Midnight Meeting, and I have Song of Healing, it's midnight, the timing is perfect to check Kamaro, right? So, the a pretty good movement you can do here is side hop left twice and start back walking, and go all the way to North Clock Town. And then leave and just go get to Kamaro. The thing is... And uh, let's say I want to go quickly, right? I'm in a race, I don't know, I or I just want to be fast because I don't want to waste uh, seconds of my life. So, what you would do here is target and instantly side up, right, uh, side up left twice. But, uh, let's see what happens if I try to do this. Oh wait, what happened? I'm back to where I was. How did this happen? So, again, I'm not exactly sure how it works, but from what I can understand, it's because the controls do not adjust to the camera being behind Link until the targeting rotation or animation is, is done. So, this means that the controls, all the, all the time that the camera takes to get behind Link, are not a, are still consider are uh, you know the controls still consider the camera to be facing how it was before you targeted, which means that if I want to side hop left, the first side hop I'm gonna do is by inputting right and A instead of left and A, 
like this. You can see my controls at the bottom of the screen right now. I'm on KZ to practice ROM. So, uh, I need you're, you're gonna see my controls go from 80, which is holding right, to minus 80, which is holding left. So right now, this is what it looks like. So you probably saw. And uh, the same goes for, let's say I am, I am, the camera's facing this way, but Link is facing this way. If I would want this side hop left, the first, uh, the first thing I would do is hold up an A for the first side up instead of left an A, like this. Because if I try to input left an A, Link is gonna backflip. Wait, how did I not get it there? Link is gonna backflip. So, this was the second tip. The third tip is do not flick the camera. Because, as I explained, the controls don't adjust until the camera is fully behind Link at the end of the targeting animation. So, let's say I want to leave to go to Termina Field. But last second, I'm like, wait, no, I want to go to West Clock Town. I want to get some money or something or deposit money. So I'm heading there and then, and then I, wait, I didn't do it this time, but I'm just like, oh, wait, I want to go South Clock Town. Wait, what happened? Why did I not turn around? Oh, wait, I, wait, why did I, why do I keep doing this? Well, that's because... If you flick the camera and then you start holding up too early, Link is going to start walking in the direction he was facing before you targeted, where, which up corresponds to, which is towards the gate in this situation. So if you, if you hold back, target, and then hold up afterwards because you want to start walking forward, this is what's going to happen. Same thing happens if I, let's say I target, I input back, target, and then start holding right. This is what's going to happen. See, the camera is now facing to my right compared to how it was when I before I targeted. So there are two options for this. One is pretty bad in my opinion, which is... Well, there are three options. The first option is to, when you start doing this, you keep holding down for a couple of frames before holding up, which is very awkward and not something I would... Wait for the targeting animation to be over. Like, wait for the targeting to be over before starting to move. Which is what I... Which is what I would recommend. And then the last option, which is... Um, to roll in that direction before targeting. That way you're moving in that direction already and the camera will get behind you. So this is something that you probably already do if you're a veteran of Ocarina of Time. I do this all the time. I just spam this honestly in Ocarina of Time. So this is just something that I would recommend people doing no matter what. It's just generally good. It works in all directions too. Like if I want to go, oh wait, I want to go up the stairs. I input down left, but you can just down left and roll. Just down left roll and then target. So that's the third tip. Uh, those are probably the three most important ones. The last one I'm gonna give you is just for generally better movement, which is called a quick turnaround. So you, let's say I'm here. I'm in, uh, I just got out of North Clock Town. I don't know, I checked the post box here and I wanna go all the way to South Clock Town over there. So, what I would normally do is, and uh, the correct movement would be to back walk all the way over there. So, to do that, uh, the first thing I'm going to show is how I would normally do it with a quick turnaround. It looks like this. This is what it looks like. Okay, that doesn't seem too bad. But let's say I try to back walk how I would do it in Ocarina of Time. So I would just hold down and target and then start back walking. But did you just see what happened there? Let's look at this again. Oh wait, did you see it again? 
for a split second, for like half a second, Link starts moving forward when I do this. And if you've kept up with everything we, everything we talked about so far, that's because when you turn around and target, and you're holding down, the game still still considers the camera to be in this direction instead of this direction. So when you press down, it makes Link go this way. Until the targeting is over, and then you start back walking. So... There are two ways to remedy this. The uh, way that it's also pretty common is just to don't touch your control stick. It's just to turn around, don't touch your control stick, target, and then back walk. Which done quickly looks like this. Wait, looks like this. And the other way is a quick is a quick turnaround that looks like this. Uh, now, how to do a quick turnaround. Remember the third tip I gave you, which is to... Uh, when you flick target and then hold a direction, the camera will adjust to, the to be behind the direction Link is moving. Which, we can actually use this to our advantage for a quick turnaround. So, if you flick target and hold back, the camera will turn around like this. So, all you need... All you need to do now is just to target again and start backwalking. It's just to target again and hold it like this. So essentially you just target, let go, let go and turn around and then target again. But you do this very quickly in like half a second. And this is what it looks like. It might take a little practice. If you're pretty used to Ocarina of Time's, uh, Ocarina of Time's mechanics, these are the exact same inputs as reverse cam in, in uh, Ocarina of Time. If you do the reverse cam inputs, you'll get the quick turnaround. Because the reverse cam in MM is like a little slower. Like that. It, it's, a, it's slower than, uh, than in Ocarina of Time. So if you do it at the speed as you would reverse cam in Ocarina of Time, it's going to work. Uh, there are situations where it just turning around and starting to backwalk is better. Let's say there's a bunch of NPCs and you don't want to target them. Well, I keep failing, but... It, like, like, like here, if I try to quick turn around, this is what happens. But, so just turning around and backwalking in this situation would be better. But generally, a quick turn around is the optimal way to backwalk. So there you go. That way you don't lose half a second for every backwalk you do now. And uh, that's pretty much everything I needed to say about the camera. And uh, yep, see you next time everyone.